Welcome back to Generation XG, where we like to take you inside the dressing room to hear the tactical insights that allow Premier League stars to perform at the top level. At Man City, you're never far away from the latest strategic innovation with Pep Guardiola at the helm. And Ian Irving sat down with Bernardo Silva to discuss his new role. Bernardo Silva, will he be the man to make it happen? He will be! Out to Bernardo Silva, who hit it first time. Brilliant goal for Manchester City, who take the lead. Bernardo, your manager said recently that you don't have a position, you just play football. Is that how you see it? Is that how it feels to you as a, as a Manchester City player? I, th I think I've always been a little bit like this, very interested in the game, very interested in knowing uh, what, what different positions require. But of course, when I joined Man City and, um, and when I started working with Pep, uh, I, I, I developed a lot and, and, I, and I started understanding the game in, in a very different way. We've got some clips to show you then of some of the roles that you've played in, in recent times. So this is perhaps the, the first Bernardo Silva that we saw mm -hmm. in the Premier League playing right wing. This is from the Newcastle game okay. earlier on in the season. I wonder if you can talk to us about what's going through your mind at this point in the game. So Kevin, Kevin, this is a movement that Kevin does very well in the channel. And uh, if, if, if the defender doesn't follow him, I'll just play him the ball because he's so good in that one touch cross. And, uh, and his final decision is so good. And if I see that the defender is following me, which was the case in this clip, I just try to come in the middle because the, the defenders followed him, thought that I was playing to, to Kevin. And, uh, and yeah, it opened my channel to, to then find the, to find the cross to, to Gundogan. And as I said, taking more risks in the, in the final third, uh, being more aggressive than when I play in, in different in other positions. Let me show you the next clip then. Um, this is more in a central area, but mm -hmm. a, again, what aspect of, of your ability does this, this play on the, the role when you're in the middle of the pitch? When you play in the middle, you're connecting everything because when the team is pressing, you're giving the scene, the, the, you're shouting to your attacking players that when they can go, I think it's the most difficult position on the pitch because also with the ball to, uh, to, you need to have the awareness of, of, of where the, com the players are coming f from. So it's a very difficult position, not, not just offensively but also defensively because it demands a lot of running, it's, it's where you run the most. But it's my favourite position, yeah, if you ask me. Just play it through, I mean, you no, said this before was a, it was special. Yeah, it was a special play. Do you know where you're going at this point? Are you no, just working I've, it out, I've, touch I by no touch? Clue, I, I have no <laughs> clue of where I'm going. I just need to get out of there and try to escape the players. And it was a beautiful play because then I, I, could, I, I could find Phil. You're quite and annoyed with Phil that he I'm didn't put that away. I'm very annoyed yeah. with Phil because he should have scored this chance. <laughs> no, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice position. Very demanding, but my, my favourite position. If you knew at the start of this campaign that in one of the most important matches in the Premier League season you'd be playing left-back, what would you have thought? I, will, I would never think in the beginning of the season that I, would, that I would do that position, but now the way that we're building up and, uh, and, and the way that the manager wants us to start our, our play, um, one of our full-backs comes a little bit inside before with Rico, now and, and also in the past with, with Zinchenko or with Fabian Delph. It's, it's not my natural position, obviously. Everyone, yeah. No one is, is, is stupid enough to think that. And, uh, Especially uh, this clip challenging Bakayo Saka is a, uh, a different and, and skill. And yeah, yeah. Because, because I'm not a quick player and if, if, if I play against the very quick, quick wingers, it's, it's going to be tough. So when I see that the ball can be played to, to my side, I need to give him two, three metres. I need to stay two, three metres in behind because if I go from, from the same line as him, he'll be faster than me and he will yeah. beat me. And at the same time, I cannot be f too far behind because I need to hold the line. Otherwise, I'll just play uh, the other winger or the striker on sides. Which and one of these is you, Bernardo? Wh which do you think is, is, is you at your best, at your truest self? No, I've, I've, I, think my, I think my best position is, is, playing, is playing as a midfielder, is playing as a number eight or a number ten. Preferably on, on a little bit on the right side because it's where I feel my dribble is better. But yeah, I can play. I can play in very different positions, and, and I'm happy with all of them, to be honest. Really good, actually, listening to Bernardo Silva there talking about that different positions that he plays, and he just loves his football. Just mm. listen to him there; you can tell he loves his football. Doesn't yeah, he, he was absolutely brilliant. I thought he was just enthusiastic. He was just saying he's going to be a manager, isn't he? He's got everything, all the attributes, the enthusiasm, the intensity. 
he's going to be a top manager. Yeah, I think he's one of the smartest players. One of my favourite players in the Premier League. Yeah. He's probably one of the only guys that could probably play, what, eight positions? Yeah. Eight yeah. positions, probably, you know, world class in in almost some ways. So yeah. he's a, he's a special player. Absolutely, his game intelligence is is there for everyone to see. And if we look at his, the average positions for Man City against uh, Nottingham Forest in their recent game, um, in possession and and out of possession, and how different it is. So out of possession. He's back in that left-back position um, where he's starting. Uh, Walker, Diaz, Laporte, back four, two midfielders, then the three and the one up front. But as soon as they get the ball, it's totally different. Yeah. It, it becomes a, a three, Walker, Diaz, Laporte, a two in midfield of Rodri and Silva. Then you've got five men mm. up front. You've got five, Foden, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Haaland and Grealish. So it's a con big contrast, really, out of possession and, and into possession, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And um, it's... I, I... I was going to ask Owen this because, you know, you look at Bernardo Silva, he's an attack, more of an attacking midfield player having to take on defensive responsibilities. Do you think it's easier for, like, a Carl Walker, who's a defender, to be asked then to go and do the attacking side of the game in that centre midfield area? Or do you think it should be Bernardo Silva will find that trend? Well, Kyle's yeah. not comfortable with his back to the game. Mm. So, with the back to the game means the goal is there. And Kyle doesn't want to receive the ball there because he's not used to it. Kyle Walker's used to having the whole game in front of him. Yeah. Bernardo Silva's complete opposite. Mm. So Bernardo Silva, obviously, he's in a, if he's in a back forward defensively, as a typical left back, that's fine. But basically, Pep's only doing this because he wants another attacker on the pitch. Yeah. So he's obviously, he's got the five mm -hmm. there and he wants Bernardo to join in. Should and we because, see it? Yeah. Have a look. Yeah. Let's have a look at some he, of the clips then, yeah. And it's, 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 I mean, it's obviously so obvious, even you know, something so simple like a, a throw-in, you know? There he is at left back. Yeah. His position then changes straight away, doesn't it? And yeah. basically, He's the trigger for everybody else to adjust and just watch mm -hmm. this back four form into, a, form into a three. You know, really quite quickly, obviously, Laporte... Pushes in. Pushes Natural in. Natural left-footed player as well. Yeah, there's Bernardo Silva. Yeah. Let's get, let's get the back three in there as well. I can't reach up there, but there's the other one in the far <laughs> area there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Team F. We're all fighting yeah. over Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. But, but the point is as well, then you get the back three and you almost get two defensive midfield players. So that would be Bernardo and that would be Rodri. Yeah. And then obviously you've got five in attack. And I think mm. that's all Pep wants. Pep wants another body at the top of the pitch. And uh, Bernardo Silva is obviously more than capable of, of dealing with the ball in that position. Mm. How much do you think Haaland's changed that then, do you think? His, his presence up there, because previously it was a false nine, wasn't it? And yeah. They were coming this way. Exactly. And I think the only reason he's going in there is because he, he wants to get the overload. You know, yeah. he wants another body in there. Obviously, with Haaland, they have more of a, a reference point and somebody runs in behind. Now he needed to get another body in, and, and that's exactly why he's going in there to try and dominate possession. It's all about possession for Pep. Yeah. I mean, now he's right on the right hand side of the pitch. Yeah. Lose the ball, that's when he's got to get himself back over into his left back position. Yeah. And the thing is, you know, uh, throughout this clip, you've seen the five at the top of the pitch at all times for, for Man City. Yeah. Because, you know, Bernardo Silva's in there, and Pep knows when you've got Bernardo Silva in there, they're not going to lose the ball. No. You know, at yeah. no point do you see, like, Green is coming back because they're going to keep, keep the ball, they're gonna, the ball's precious to him. And that's why they develop into these areas. You know, I think it's Foden in there I mean, now. How heavily is he involved has he been in this? Yeah. And even there, he picks it up on the edge of the box. Exactly. And you think, you think where, where would the fullback usually be? You'd usually be maybe, you know, back here, admiring yeah. it. But he's right in amongst it there to go and win that second ball and look at the numbers up there. And that's where they should be. They should be high at the pitch so they can win that second ball and have a, a run of attacks. Because when you get a run of attacks, that's when you get your, your, your opportunities and your chances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, he's, I mean, Bernardo's the perfect player to do this because, you know, like I said before, he can play multiple positions. False what about, nine off what about the right Rico off the left. Lewis? Well, Re Re slightly different. Yeah, well, Re Rico's, yeah, Re Rico's a right back, but obviously yeah. he does the same thing. You know, he, he comes in midfield because he, basically, Rico's very good at keeping the ball and, and recycling the ball. And obviously, once he goes into there, you know, it, it turns into a back three pretty much the exact same. It does. It's a Kanji this time who's come out. Exactly. It's right hand side because Rico loses left and right back position to go into midfield. But I think he can do you can do this with a Kanji and Aki and these guys are all good Pets. athletes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're yeah. they're really powerful. They can cover big spaces. Um, so I think in that sense, but again, City have conceded a lot more goals at this point than they did last yeah. season. So they're still working on it. Mm -hmm. Um He's not quite as positive as a Bernardo Silva on the ball either, is he, in that position? No, and I think because he's a young kid, he, he wants to keep the ball and not make mistakes. Yeah. But at some point, you've got to play progressive passes, especially when you have Haaland in there. Yeah. You know, when, when De Bruyne plays, that ball's in there, isn't it? He, yeah. he, he puts it straight in there. What about this guy? Because when, when I'm talking about a, a fullback playing positive, Eureka Lewis keeps it safe, keeps yeah. it steady. Can't accuse Zinchenko of that, can you? No. He's been doing it for Arsenal all season as well. It, yeah. Yeah, and the one thing I would say is, I think if you're going to do this, if you're going to get the 
left back to go into this position, then you should have a purpose. Yeah. And sometimes with Rico Lewis, I, I don't really see, I don't see it affecting it. No. But if you just, if you just see Zinchenko there, look, look where he's Set run into. Forward. Exactly. So <laughs> he, 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 he's trying to affect the game. And I think yeah. that's why Pep does it to affect the game. Problem is with maybe Rico Lewis, he doesn't really affect it as much. No. Look at Zinchenko. You know, it keeps evolving, this attack. Keeps evolving, and then they get a, get a yeah. great shot. Off. Zinchenko's probably one of the best in the league at, at doing this. This is a slightly different way of playing it now, isn't it, with, with Trent Alexander-Arnold, who mm. we've seen in the past, he's, he's tried to be played in midfield. He's managers that have tried to do it with him because of his range of passing, and maybe he's not brilliant defensively no. either, but when he's on the ball in the middle of the pitch, he's so dangerous. This is a great example of what Owen was saying about being progressive. When you get into that midfield there about passing the ball forward, and he does it, I think, the best of anybody because he's got such a great passing range. And you see him, he stands out wide, and because they're not going to keep the ball, he then just goes into that midfield area. Now, he's in a, he's in a great position, he's got his head up, and you think, you know... You yeah, know, but it's not it, a lot it, on there, though. It's not a lot on there, you know, you <laughs> no, think but Rico, the... you know, maybe Rico would go here, but maybe you'd go, go there, but, but Trent, he can see... The whole picture on Carney. Yeah, and he's Trent's only really worried about that space, really, isn't he? Yeah. He mm. knows if, if you got that, if the, there's space in there, I could put I could, you he know. He needs runners though. Yeah, he needs runners, yeah. <laughs> but again, if you, I think if you give Trent space. We watched Chelsea though, moments ago, and everyone running to the ball. Yeah. I mean, now all of a sudden there's the space. You wouldn't do that with Trent now, would you? You know, with Trent you, you go you go the other way. And I think that's you know, it's obviously Sam Maximum falls asleep mm. a little bit. Uh, but obviously, it's, there's different ways of interpreting the position. The point is, get your ball players the ball to affect the game. Zinchenko's great coming inside. Trent's obviously Do brilliant like at it? finding that space. Do you like the fullbacks going into midfield? I, I like it until you lose the ball. <laughs> that, because quick, I, that quick, that quick turnover, because when you have to run back into position, you're, you're just disorientated. But that's one of the reasons why Pep does it. Mm -hmm. Pep puts the fullback in there because mm -hmm. he says it's a shorter distance to cover to get back to the goal. Yeah. And sometimes he likes the centre-back to play a ball out wide straight to the winger. Yes. So I can understand why he does it, but I, I think we've been there as players. I don't think the defenders are comfortable in midfield mm -hmm. with the back to the game, no. are they? No, not no, many. definitely not, not many. There's not many. So there's, you know, there's Philip Lamb and there's Bernardo Silva, yeah. but th there's not a ton of them out there. No, Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.